guys, Shani here, and welcome back to Making Everyday Magic. This week, I want to take you along for a glimpse into our science. Before we go any further, please scroll down, hit that big red subscribe button, turn on the bell for notifications, and give this video a thumbs up. Now, if you'll recall, I kind of piecemealed my own science curriculum this year, and I had so much interest and so much feedback on that that I thought that I would go ahead and share what a week in our science curriculum looks like. So I will share the link right up here. I will link that video right up here uh, to show you what I went through as far as planning and how I intended to do it uh, with both kiddos and piece it together and kind of use some of the things that we had and I picked up a few more things. So this week I am going to share with you Monday through Friday what we are doing in our science. In an effort to prep for this week, we did study bees last week and I am carrying that right through to parts of a flower. We made a trip this past weekend to the, uh, the local nursery to pick up some fall veggies, which checks it off of our bucket list, but also gives us a chance to go and look at the flowers at the nursery. So we will be trekking right along this week. I'm hoping that there is Tropical Storm Beta hanging around, but I'm hoping that we can get out and observe um, some flowers that we have in our own yard to look at pollen and parts of these plants so that we can see that firsthand in you know real life application in our own yard. So please come along. I hope you enjoy. I'm starting this Monday morning, so we'll see how it goes for our week. Okay guys, so this week we are actually learning in science about bees, and the next week we're gonna learn about parts of a flower. So the um, the scholastic set that we have um, on the bee folder, one of the experiments is to actually make a bee out of the fuzzy chenille straws, the uh, pipe cleaners, and then put it in one kind of glitter to see how much it picks up, and then the second kind of glitter. So I'm gonna show you that this week, and then next week I'm gonna try to take you through an entire week of our science program. Oh, yeah. oh no, what do, what do bees make? Do you remember? Um, yes, honey. Honey, good job. Do you remember this? This is Buzzala. Buzzala? Mm -hmm. Love it. Okay, so here's what we're gonna do. Who wants to t use their bee first? Me. Okay, so this pink cup represents a flower. And what's in the middle of a flower? Do you remember? Um, bottle. Pollen. 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 So they go and they go to this flower and they get the pollen. How do they get the pollen? In the flower. In the flower. So the bee, you see him? He goes in. In the flower he gets the... Oh, do you see how he picked it up? Mm -hmm. That's how a bee picks up pollen. And then guess what he does? Do you know what he does? He goes to another flower. And he goes in there and he picks up more pollen. Did he get more pollen? Mm -hmm. Yes. And that's how the bees get the pollen. What? It takes a thousand bees to make one. Ew. Ew. All right, Amelia, it's your turn. First, it drinks up the nectar. Okay, drinks the nectar, and then it, did he pick up his pollen? Yeah. <gasps> he picked up his pollen. That's part of the reason that bees are a little fuzzy. Now picked up his <gasps> pollen. Did he get pollen? Yeah, and he's going to get so much more. Yeah, you more see what else is happening here? Pollen from different flowers goes in different flowers and it helps spread those flowers. Oh, hang on, let me see these. Thank you. Good morning, we are here at Enchanted Forest to pick up some seeds for some fun fall veggies. Why do we need fall veggies? Because we, because I don't know why. You don't know why? One, it's on our bucket list. Two is because this week in science, we are gonna be studying parts of a flower. So we are going to try to take you along as we do our full week of science lessons to give you an idea of how we do that. What did we do for science last week? Um, we made habitats. We did habitats, but what about our bees? Did we do bees? Yeah, we did. Bees. What did we learn about bees? That they collect pollen. They collect pollen from what? From flowers. From flowers. From flowers. 
colors. Great job, team. Okay, so we're going to go in and do this. But before we go any further, scroll down and hit the big red subscribe button. Turn the bell for notification and give this video a thumbs up. Great job, team. We that a lot, so we know it a lot. <laughs> Halloween for fall. Pretty Look fall there. pumpkins. We were able to get some little already started four inch veggies. We've got two or three kinds of cauliflower. We've got broccoli. We've got cabbage. What did you guys get? Pumpkins. Pumpkins. Plants are living things. Plants don't move around or make sounds the way animals do, but plants are alive. They need food and water. They start small and grow bigger. Then they make more little plants. Unlike animals, plants stay in one place. Do you remember what they need? Food, water, sunlight, oil, soil, soil, and air. And air. With those, they make their food. I'm not sure if you guys remember my little scratch paper. It has changed so much. Um, let's see, this week, last week we did bees, which was super fun. But this week we're gonna do parts of the flower, which instead of being in the plants folder in our scholastic set, is actually gonna be in our bees folder um, because we're gonna design a flower. <gasps> uh, so we have actually already watched the scholastic video that goes with this um, in a our previous lesson last week, but normally what I would do on Mondays is go ahead and pull up the video on scholastic.com that goes with this set. Um, and it talks about some of this right down here, these bonus resources, and you can log on, uh, log in, and it will give you um, just some little videos to talk a little bit more about what you're doing. In preparation for this, we also went and bought our fall veggies, which is so exciting. And I will try to insert some of that. So we're going to, our big project for this week is going to be designing a flower. We did go ahead and go over in our what your preschooler needs to know in science. We went ahead and read this entire section on plants. We will, I will be getting ready the pots of the flower. Uh, magic school bus that we have going on and we have things from both kiddos books so we're super excited so this is in the pre-k smart stem plants have parts okay so today is tuesday in our science. So on Tuesdays, we use our textbooks. So the pre-K Smart Start STEM book that came in our pre-K curriculum kit has an entire section on plants have parts. Our third grade that we, um, we use to compile our, our planned science curriculum does not, but what it does have is plant and animal life cycles that talks about the life cycles of plants and how plants grow. So we're gonna chat about these two together. We are also using our, our bees folder from the Scholastic set. Again, all of this will be linked below and we are learning about pollinators and designing a flower. I found a pretty awesome YouTube video pretty quickly all about parts of a flower and pollination. So we'll watch that together and that should tie in a little bit of what we're talking about today. Okay, so I've been trying to think about how best to let the girls do a flower. Like, how are we gonna make our own flower? What's the best way to do this? And I'm gonna use my handy dandy stack of super colored paper and some little cups. So I'll take you along and show you what we're gonna do. Okay, so my plan is literally just to glue these cups on here 
and then let the kids as their project make petals to go up the side and draw the rest of the body of the flower. So my hope is that once this glue dries and they've made their flower, we can actually put a little um, baking flour or something like that in there to have their little bees go in and pick up some of that pollen. Okay, what are some parts of a plant? What is this? I don't know. What is that? A leaf. A leaf. Amelia, we're super lucky that we have a lot of flowers in our yard. Can you tell me what kinds of flowers? I know. Hibiscus. Hibiscus. Thank you. All right, let's look at this one right here. Can you see it very well? Huh? I can. You can or can't? I can. Would you like me to lower it Oh, careful. It down There's here? a ladybug. Yeah. All right, Dad's going to pull that down because Dad's awesome. Okay, ready? Wow. Come here, Amelia. Do you, can you tell? Look, let's see, right here. What is this? I know. What is this? I know what it is, Mama. What is that? I know. <gasps> it is pollen. <gasps> Look, it's on my finger. Where? I don't see it. Mama, can I touch the pollen? <gasps> yeah. And I too? So see, this little dustiness is coming off. Now look at your fingers. <gasps> Whoa. Yeah, isn't that fun? Oh. oh, you got pollen on your fingers. Okay, what is this called? We know that the pollen, who gets the pollen? Bees. Bees. Now, what is this? I know petals. Petals, that's right. What's this back here? I know What is leaves. that? Leaves. And what's this center part called? I know. What? The own. Damn, great job. So we understand that the pollen is important, right? Nice. Okay, who remembers the parts of a flower? I know. Okay, Amelia, give me one part. Um, the petal. The petal. Marilyn, give me one part. Stem. Stem. The pollen. The pollen. Leaf. Leaf. Roots. Roots. Perfect job. I made these pieces of paper for you. Do you see these pieces of paper? Mm -hmm. This is going to be the center of your flower where your pollen goes. So what do we put around the center of our pollen where our flower goes? Um, the petals. The petals. So you're going to make petals to glue all around this cup. But what else do we need on here? The stem. We need the stem and the leaves. And don't forget what gives them all their nutrients. I know. The roots. Wow. The roots. Because so when the ground gets wet or it's very hot and stuff, they can get suck up the water from the roots. So then that's right. Okay, so this is your science project. I need you to make a flower. And then make can we make flower. it however we like? As long as it has all the pieces and that you keep your cup for your pollen. Oh, and also we can use these for roots. Okay, so this is our last day of science. What did we learn about this week? The parts of a plant, um, what plants need, and um, what should we do? And what? What are we, we making? We're going to bake in just a little while. What did we learn this week, Marilyn? Can you tell me what's this? A petal. That's a petal. What is this right here? Mom, I said a stem. Stem. A stem? What's down here under the ground? I know. Roots. Roots. Great job. I'm so proud of you. Now. And also about pollen. And oh, about pollen. And our bee friend is about to come and buzz in. So just a fun little experiment. We made our bee. Do you remember that? Yeah. Can you pretend like this flower is the pollen? Is the pollen. Oh, now. Do you see how the pollen got on the stamen in the middle of your flower? Mm -hmm. Just like in real life. Now, let's see. We're going to take our bee 
And where does the bee go? The bee goes in the flower. Now, why does the bee go in the flower? To get the pollen to get it to another flower and to get the nectar. <gasps> Did he get the pollen? Yeah. Yeah. Okay, but then we gotta clean our counter. Here you go. Are you gonna use sister's bee since we didn't find yours? I'm sorry. Oh, That's exactly did. right. Yeah. Good job. And look. Yay. So do you feel like you understand? Yeah. Yeah, great job. along in our week of our science curriculum. Um, I'm sure that I have already linked it by now, but if you know when I was planning out our unit studies and how I was gonna use and incorporate science, I did not include anything about the human body. Well, one of the glorious things about homeschooling is that you can adapt to the opportunities that present themselves. So, we happen to have a Body World exhibit coming to our local Museum of Natural Science um, starting in a couple weeks. So because of that and because the kiddos have expressed a serious interest in parts of the body, we are adding a human body little few weeks of learning about that so that we can learn and go immediately and see those pieces of the body. We are so excited. I hope that you enjoyed coming along uh, on this week of how we do science in our house, how we incorporate both the pre-K and the third grader in those lessons, the tools we use, and the way that we try to keep it fun and adaptable to real life. Thanks so much for coming along. I hope that you found something today entertaining or informative. Please scroll down, hit the big red subscribe button, give this video a thumbs up, and turn on the bell for notifications. <laughs> Ah, uh, mommy.